Yo, I don't know who that brother is, man, but when he come home, she better not be there, because boy, if that was me, yo, I, I'm sorry, man, but yo, y'all you, gonna have to turn me in, man, I'm going to jail that night, <laughs> there ain't no way in hell you gonna ruin my whole spot like that, just because you ain't getting nothing for Valentine's, bro, it really ain't that deep. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Yo, I gotta say, man, Valentine's Day definitely shows the um, bitterness of modern women every single year. It never fails, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next video because this next video probably explains why the brother in this previous video didn't get you anything in the first place. Check this out. Just finished setting up this Valentine shirt for my shorty. I don't know how it's gonna look to y'all. I think it look good. I'm gonna give y'all like a little walkthrough, like uh, what the, what, what like. <laughs> I'm nervous too. What she'd be seeing if she was to walk in here. Time to clap. I just wanna see how the fuck he can sit on my face. And text other in front of me after everything I done did for you. Because I fuck with them more than I fuck with you. So oh, it's all. Ladies, men like him are why the red pill exists. I would not be surprised if he probably found this kind of content after dealing with that. Because as much as women com have been complaining about not getting up for Valentine's Day and not feeling appreciated and wanting to be spoiled where they have literally made a holiday for you and this man spoiled the hell out of her he went all out and and, and look how he's being treated in return it's like the level of disrespect towards men is so high no wonder men don't want to do anything like that for women anymore because because reality is is like what are y'all doing to even deserve or or, or require that because surprisingly, a lot of y'all that want that, y'all tend to have the same kind of attitude that that woman did in that last clip. I don't know, man. It just screams entitlement to me. And I never really care for Valentine's Day like that anyway. Let's keep it moving. Hey, Johnny. So how do you feel about the fight coming up? Pretty good, man. Pretty good? You guys doing some shopping today? A little bit. A little bit? How, how much did you spend on you today? 75,000. 75. 85. Oh, 85. <laughs> okay. Is, is, is the fight going to be a knockout or what, what can we expect? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Johnny. Appreciate you, bro. Good luck, man, on the fight. And it's fools like him or why women feel so entitled to this kind of lavish lifestyle. This is a MMA champion and you over here dropping 85 bands on an OnlyFans model and this is Rebecca J by the way who's been all over the red pill space you've seen her on Fresh and Fit she was actually recently on a um, podcast with Charleston White amongst other podcasts that she's been on so we already know what type of chick she is I mean she's on OnlyFans for crying out loud and you see what she looks like 
Um, if you've seen any of the skits she done, you know what kind of mash that she has. So it's no surprise that you ended up with a sucker, a guy who probably never been around a, a woman as attractive as you before. So he's leading with his wallet and he's not smart enough to know his worth. You know, this is one of those. See, he's the kind of guy that she would try to keep women. She would try to keep men like him away from a fresh and fit. <laughs> and she's been on fresh and fit so it goes it, so it just goes to show you everything that they were saying that she was getting upset with them about he was right myron was right because look how she over here finessing this dude man like, and she's a single mom on top of that whatever bro man this, this is why men this is why women get upset when we try to tell men to know their worth because if that man knew his worth he wouldn't have been doing that for her let's keep it moving i don't give a damn if it's valentine's day or not a woman who is broke and never been to college, but is fine as hell, can cook, has good nurturing skills, good in bed, will always get the better man than the woman who makes hella bread, is hella accomplished, but she is totally out of touch with her womanly side and role. It's women right now making tons of money, A plus credit, business rolling, while you're gone at work all day, your man is cheating with a woman who's unemployed and makes him feel like a man. When a woman says, oh, they don't want me independent because I don't gotta take his itch. Basically what she's saying is that if I have my own everything, I can talk to you any kind of way. It means I can have other men. I got my own money, got my own car, but that right there should disqualify a woman from being the wifey, the face car. We as women should all be functioning as adults money credit transportation housing that's called being a grown adult i've been in relationships where i was a victim every single time there was something wrong with a man a man could say one thing and i'm like well you did remember when you six months ago said da, 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 and that's how i used to be programmed to be it is so important as a woman, if you want to have a sustainable relationship with a man, to regard his feelings. We disregard men's feelings so much, and it's so foul to a man because he no longer can express himself. He can't tell you how he's feeling. He cannot literally be in a relationship where he can actually approach you and say, yo, this happened. I feel this type of way because the first thing we're going to do is be like, well, what did you do last week? Did you take your shoes? Did you do well, that? And, and we do not apologize. Biggest ick in a guy. When they fart. <laughs> when they shiver without a coat. When they wear black Nike socks. shorter than you. If they talk in a baby voice. <laughs> yo they're on number 600 damn near 700 as far as these list of x go this is getting ridiculous man now i will admit the baby voice one yeah that's a bit cringe okay i think most men will probably agree with the ladies on that one yeah uh, fellas don't do that that's cringe as hell <laughs> But all the other shit is like, come on, y'all, like y'all, y'all just really like being nitpicky now, like. But I like listening to them, man, because it's funny, man, because it just goes to show you like how ridiculous some of the shit that comes out of their mouth is, man. But 
Y'all let, me, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.